It is the one and only Patrick Monaghan. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me on. And I've never had anyone introduce me with a gorgeous accent. My accent sounds like I've smoked 80 a day and Wurzel Gummidge was my nephew. That's what it sounds like. It's really husky, it actually. It is husky, In, in it? real life, it seems husky. Yeah. When you're talking to me, you could be doing those special numbers. I know. Hello there. So uh, I just want you to lay back and relax. And I'm going to talk to you now for <laughs> several hours while my friends rob your house. This is what it's like. Um, I was about to say you'd be an amazing hypnotherapist. No, thank you. Well, you tell me your problems and I'll see if I can stop you from doing it. A bit like we, we did have Marcel uh, Lecong in the oh, other day. Marcel the, yeah, he's lovely. He's the lovely French, he was very yeah. serious. You're smiling. Is he? He, yeah. Oh my God, I've never been serious in my life. I no. think even when I've been arrested, I think even when I've been, I think everywhere, I'm trying to think of situations where... Um, well, come on, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you? I think I've been in a building where it's been on fire and I've still been going, everyone, come on, relax, look on the bright side. At least it's warm here. Oh, I mean, you can never be serious. Can you be serious? I don't think you can, can you? What actually got you into comedy in the first place? Before we talk about your two fantastic shows. Oh, what? what got me into comedy? I mean, that is amazing. I mean, it was, I mean, look, I, it was pure chance. Um, I remember I was 11 years old playing at the Live at the Apollo and I thought, I think there's a career here for me. And I think that was it. And I just stayed doing it since then. No, not really. I mean, look, I, I think um, with most people, I don't know, some people have a game plan. Some people go, oh, I want to do this. Uh, with me, it was, I just like talking. And also, I just, I think I'm a night person, so I had to do a job that meant that I could see people, I could travel and just talk. So it was either that or working in a 24-hour supermarket. But you live and breathe what you do. You oh, know, yeah. I recognise you from your gigs and TV, yeah, yeah, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you weren't doing all of this, and I can't actually imagine you doing anything else, do you ever have that moment of thinking, I think I'll go off and do this? Oh, no, God, I would probably, if I wasn't doing this, I'd probably just have a megaphone and be stood outside shouting. <laughs> Probably that. So I think it is a case of... Preaching. Preaching, yes. Hello, people. What's happening? Here we go today. Let me follow you around. Listen to my voice. That's it. How are you enjoying the fringes so far? How oh, it's brilliant. I mean, um, it, do you know, I think one of the nicest things about being here is is the it's just the the amount of vitamin D that you get in the sunshine. I think that's one of the things I would miss. If I didn't come to Edinburgh in August, I don't know where I would get my sunshine. Well, you've travelled all over the world. Where is one of the best places, aside from the festival, obviously, where's one of the best places to gig? Wow. I really have... love you. Oh, my goodness. My mum's house. My mum loves me. I do really well there when I go back to see her. No, I, everywhere. I mean, do you know what? I think we're quite lucky as a comedian, particularly with my style of comedy. There's loads of comedies like this where... As long as you're, you like people, and, and that comes across. I mean, you're the same. You when you meet people, you, you come in, you're beaming, and people like that. If you come in with that sort of thing, and and my comedy isn't, it's not offensive. I'm not trying to alienate people. I don't attack people, and it's funny because comedy now is so broad. We're so lucky in Britain where you've got you've got comics on one side of the spectrum which is amazing where they can be cutting edge and then you've got other comics right to the other side which are just you know very nice pleasing and so I'm that style of comedy I mean all of it is good but it's just that I'm that way so it's so really my comedy you can, anyone can come you can be I mean my audiences range from 8 to 108 and that is great but the only problem is you know, if there is a fire, a lot of people don't make it because particularly the older ones, when they're over 100, you have to try and carry them out the building. Can you stop talking about fire? I, I this know. Bill, you're pyromaniac. The building's going to go I on fire. I am being sponsored by the Prodigy, ladies and gentlemen. They're re-releasing their single, Fire. Firestarter. Firestarter. Let's Actually, do it. Actually, your two shows, because you've got two shows, and one is pretty much aimed at kids, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so tell us about what? the two shows. So the uh, the first one at 2.30 every day is uh, called Pub Quiz for Kids. And the only reason, um, it's like, it's a game show for it's like five rounds but the only reason is um, we thought we'd do a pub quiz for kids here in Edinburgh is because I love Scotland and in Edinburgh you know there's a lot of underage drinkers so we're sort of targeting that market you know people like to go out to the pubs at the age of eight nine years old so they're probably used to pub quizzes so let's get them in let's get them doing that. stay out of the pubs kids <laughs> there you go the gilded... keeps them out the pubs get them into the theatres it's at the Gilded Bloom I at the Gilded Bloom every day at 2.30 for the kids and then for not the adults but for anyone no, no, do you know what? It is hilarious. We have had adults turning up without kids, which normally can sound dodgy, can't it? I mean, if you just suddenly got adults turning up to a kids show without kids, it's a bit weird. But this is brilliant because it is, it is like you know, there's a game show format, so it's like there's bits of dancing in it, there's bits of. Uh, 
quizzes, comedy. It's so it's fun. something for everyone. Yeah, and the adults enjoy it just as much as the kids. It's a bit like The Simpsons. We should where... say it's not a crash though, where people just leave their kids with you no, and then go off see another show and then come back. No, if you leave your kids, we will put them up for prizes and we will <laughs> yeah. give them away. So oh. do not leave your kids. Oh, it's not kids. Okay, and then your other show, which of course is the eight, eight o'clock. o'clock show, and that is my uh, stand-up show, and um, and this show is um, it's called that eighties thing. Now you're way too young for this. I don't. What were you when were you born in the nineties, two thousand? Oh, I you? love you. And I'm Come on, forty three. You're not forty three. <laughs> I don't know if this is being filmed, and you and you're probably listening to this at home on the radio. But let me tell you this: she looks like she's about eighteen. She's wearing earrings oh. that a seventeen year old girl would wear. She's all dressed up. Yes, let's get a picture. Look at that. Look. <laughs> It looks like, do you, do you remember when you used to read them Just 17 magazines and there'd be a girl on the front uh, and she looks like one of them there going, oh yeah, look at what I'm into this week. I've got, she's got a One Direction t-shirt on and she's got big hooped earrings. It is unbelievable. I feel like I'm at a school disco. I feel like oh. I'm Michael J. Fox. I've just come back in time. Oh, I love you, Patrick Monaghan. What so can I say? What can we say? Well, I can't believe you could remember the 80s. It's all, you're way too good. But you'd, so you'd have been a kid. You'd have been yeah, a baby. So I like, yeah, I love the so 80s. baby, though. yeah. I love the 80s. So, well, you would you, the show would be perfect for you, but to be honest, it's perfect for everyone. We've had, I mean, it's hilarious. We get people again, like I was saying, we get people who are teenagers in the twenties who come with the parents, and then we get grandparents, and the whole show is a stand-up show all about uh, growing up through the eighties, but. Uh, there's a, a, a very it's funny because it is quite topical as well even though it's from 30 odd years ago it's all about I talk about immigration talk a bit about terrorism because um, we came over from Iran me mum is Iranian and I always have to explain to people where Iran is I say it's near Bradford and we came from there and um, and my dad is Irish so we talk all about growing up in the 80s where constantly Ireland and Iran was in the news even like it is today the Middle East is is a big issue so yeah it's it is it is a fun show but it is quite uh, it's funny because you get a lot of young people come and they leave going oh my god I didn't realize that's what happened in the 80s because they so much. it was a big decade it certainly was it's an educational show yep. check him out at the Gilded Balloon as the yep. one and only Patrick Monaghan thank you very much for having me and there's free <laughs> hooped earrings for everyone that comes <laughs> Jeans is there. She's going to be handing out free earrings. Come along. It'll be fantastic. Will you come? Oh, it'd be great. Look at look at them. They're, they're, I can see them waving at the screen, waving back. Her earrings are, are this. It's like this. <laughs> Who's this? All right. Are you doing that? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Right I feel on. like I should come along to the show just, to, just to, at the start of every night to say, please put your hands together, everybody, for Patrick Monaghan. Yeah, Monaghan. right. You've got the job. She's doing it every day. That's brilliant. I need someone Wonderful. to Wonderful. As a burlesque dancer. As a burlesque oh, dancer. Oh, my God. Can you do that? No, but I can try. Right. This is going to be, this is going to be one of the best shows I've I've ever seen just just like a ripping off clothes like that hang on play the music again i'm stuck i'm stuck <gasps> i'll come up with big scissors come on patrick the legend is patrick one what can thank I you say? Very thank much. you amazing. thank you for having me <laughs> lovely chatting <laughs>